Hi, I'm Christina Troutwein, and I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Hotel Business, and we're at the Lodging Conference in Phoenix. I am joined today by Bob Rausch, the CEO, and Cameron Lamming, the President and COO of RAR Hospitality. Welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. Thank you for having us. Okay. So let's talk about your portfolio. I understand you have a Tapestry by Hilton and a True by Hilton both opening. They're both in the development pipeline, so um, we're about to break ground on both of them pretty soon. And they're expected to open sometime in early 2020, if I'm doing my math correctly. Uh, but apart from that, the rest of our uh, portfolio is open and doing well. What else do you have in the pipeline? We've got a couple of other development deals that we've been working on with some co-developers. Um, couple in San Diego, a couple in LA. Um, we've got a couple of management properties where we just are going to be third party managing that are we're hoping to uh, kind of create a partnership with the owners on rather than just sort of a management owner partnership, more or, sorry, more of a partnership than a management owner mentality. Okay, and you're working on some renovations in addition to some new builds, you said? Yes. Yeah, we've got a few renovations in the pipeline. Do you want to talk to Sure, those? the renovations, you know, here that we're at the Arizona Biltmore in Phoenix. We are about 20 minutes from our Tempe property. We just renovated a Holiday Inn Express. And what's interesting is Holiday Inn Express can seem like a plain vanilla property, but uh, with the renovation that we just completed, it really feels impressive. We're also renovating a hotel down in Tucson. We're adding a dimension to the property, making it more extended stay, adding some kitchenettes. It was a branded hotel. We're taking it independent calling it Stay Tucson Inn & Suites, and that property will have a, a real extended stay focus, and that'll be completely renovated, and then we're renovating, or have renovated, almost every property in our portfolio. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's yeah. amazing how many we have at the same time. How many do you have in your portfolio? 18 hotels that are okay. open and operating, and we have uh, three that are in the immediate development pipeline, and about four that are in the immediate acquisition pipeline. Yeah, so the boutiques uh, are really where we put some uh, some time and energy into it. Yeah, oh, people love their boutiques, especially more and more, which brings me to my next question. You know, obviously personalization and authenticity and being local, these are all words we hear all the time. What makes a property an RAR property? There's a lot of thought process that goes into what each property is and what it stands for. And we spend a lot of time creating an identity, an ethos, whatever you want to call it, where we drill down on who we want the guest to be. Not necessarily always who the guest is, but who we want the guest to be. Mm -hmm. And understand them down to the deepest level of their lifestyle, their ambitions, so that we can use that identity that's created out of that and inform every corner of the hotel. And that is where you start connecting with the guest and really understand them from a personal level. And what's interesting, what Cameron's talking about sometimes can not come across on the profit and loss statement unless it's balanced with the distribution channel management where we want to know who the guest is and are they really the right guest for the hotel? Not are they the right guest for the personality, but are they going to spend the money that we need them to spend? Because as hotels hit 80, 90%, on certain nights and we know we're going to fill, we want to fill with the highest paying guest who is within the profile of the guest we want because we don't want the wrong guest. Okay. And, the, and the byproduct of that is something that's really cool. The, 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 the team members on the property and, and us uh, above the property have a ton of fun with it. Yeah. You really connect with your guests. You really oh, feel vested, like yeah. you have ownership of the property sure. because that whole identity discovery is a team effort with everybody on the property. We really do need all the uh, employees. If every team member does not feel engaged, the guests will notice it right away. You know, obviously one of the hot topics here at this conference and actually the last few has been um, employee retention, finding good labor, sure. keeping good people and everything else. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the things that you do to find the talents and also to keep the talents. You know what's interesting, one of the advantages of being a seasoned hotelier is that we have contacts. So whether it's our senior VP of operations, myself or one of our other senior people who have some tenure in the industry, we seem to know a lot of people. And we know them from every, every facet 
of hospitality. We can even use Cameron's LinkedIn because, you know, he's starting right. to get there. You know, he's a young guy, but, you know. <laughs> it was on the technology curve a little before you. Yeah, so, uh, well, really? you know what, let me pick up on this <laughs> dynamic that's going on here and, yeah. you know, and ask you about that. It, it's, you see the generations, more of a baby boomer generation and the millennial generation combined. How does, that I would think is an asset to your business. How has that worked for you? We have a nice combination of our backgrounds in the sense that I, I worked at Disney for a number of years and so I kind of love the entertainment style, the little bit of creativity, uh, but it was on the development side, so I kind of rooted that in the investment um, theory and analysis and all that stuff. And Bob being a hotelier in the hotel industry for... Don't say. A, for many years. <laughs> many, many years. A few more than me. Um, it, it allows us to use that level of creativity that we're talking about in terms of creating an identity and a lifestyle in our hotel where, you know, I'll just be blown with it. I come up with crazy ideas and he gr grounds them in what's plausible in a hotel, what's yes. cost effective, what's mm -hmm. not. He got a promotion recently. Obviously, you've invested in him. What do you think he brings to the table? What Cameron brings to the table is something unique in that he's like a sponge for knowledge. So if I'm sitting in a meeting, whether it's with a client or with our team, he hears what I say, he now understands it because he hasn't lived it as many years as I have, so he has to figure out what, what exactly did Bob mean by that. He not only gets it, he's able to use that knowledge immediately. And what I get from him, which is why I felt it was the time when we sat down and talked about should I continue to be the president of the company, Cameron has earned the respect of our clients and our team members, which is why he's now President and Chief Operating Officer. It doesn't mean that I have a lesser role. It allows me to be more strategic. Thankfully, Cameron comes. Well, he comes with, with the attitude and the smarts. Thank you both so much. <laughs> and you pleasure. know what? Thank you for making this fun. Yeah, that's our goal. Try. Okay. <laughs>